Hello guys, welcome back to the Forensic Detailing Channel. I'm going to just do a live demo of using the Flex PXE 80, whatever it's called, PXE 80, to polish the entire front bumper. Now I did have the, the 3401 to hand with the 5 inch pad, but if you look at the standard 80mm pad that comes on the PXE, it's basically the perfect size, isn't it? You wouldn't need to go any bigger. So if this tool can actually cope with doing the correction, there's no need to use, you know, a bigger, powerful, more corded tool. So what I'm going to show you in this video, this is pretty much all I'm using here. I've got this pad, and then I've got this little pad if ever I want to hit tiny areas, and I can just pop off this, and it's got a quick release system on there, so I can pop on the new one. I've got some tape if I need it. I've got some fine finishing polish and I'm using soft pads because it's very soft paint on soft plastic um, so we're going with this to, to cut it off and that's it and what I want to do is show you kind of how easy it is in real time and whether or not well whether or not we can get good results so just bear with me <laughs> right so first up I just spin this round we're just going to just wipe this piece down here. This is a bit we're going to be polishing. So we're going to tackle working quite small sections. We're probably going to work from there down to there. And if we have a look, you can see it's quite a lot of. Well, some of that is. No, you can see it, can't you? You can see the scratches. Um, that's from where it's been painted and machined. There's some machine marring in there. There's some dampness as well because it's a cold day but you can see the machine marring let's just try and tidy this up a little bit more so it's bone dry right that should be better so if we look there now you can see what we're dealing with okay so we just want to get this panel nice so what I'm going to do is set the camera down Hopefully you can see there. This has all been shaken, so I'm just going to put a tiny amount of polish on there. You don't need a lot. It's nice and light. Probably too much polish, actually. And we probably, um, you know, if we wanted to slow down, we probably might tape over here because there's a risk of really just cramming a little bit. So we just try and be careful. We're about to crank it up to full speed. And now I'll switch the adapters to the mini rotary and I'm going to be running the rotary at speed 3 which isn't even the fastest setting just to tackle a more intricate area Hopefully you can see that Hardly any polish, like literally none. Just as long as you can see a bit of cloudiness, then you're okay.
And that's it guys, remember I'm using finishing polishes and very soft pads, um, so there's no heat in here, so that's why you see me keeping it stiller for longer. I'm actually um, just taking out swirls using finishing polishes, but it's soft paint on soft plastic. So that's a live demo of the um, New Flex PE. It's the ideal tool for doing small areas, but also perfect for doing front bumpers, I think. You know, Next, I'm gonna be working my way along there and up there and in here and along there. And this, combined with this, is pretty much all I need. Thanks very much for watching. See you soon on the Frenzy's Detailing Channel. Bye for now.